Welcome to the new map tutorial. This tutorial is going to show you how to get a new map started, how to set the background the way you want it, how to import a map from another source, how to navigate around that map, and then how to set and adjust your grid. So first getting a new map started. You just go up to the map menu here and uh, click new map. Now here you can see your defaults from your preferences pop up, your distances per cell and your hex type, that sort of thing. To set the background you just go to the background button. Now first you the color swatches pop up here so you can just choose to make a white board or a green board to draw on. Otherwise you can go with the textures. Now what you're looking for here is what's called a tileable image. That means an image that can be stacked next to itself but you can't see the line. Let's use one of the default textures that comes with map tool. Choose arid say and then click OK. And now what you have here is what's basically a desolate wasteland that just goes on forever and ever. And because you use that texture for that background it takes up very little memory space. And then this is really your base that you can draw and create maps off of. And then next, if you want to import a map from another source, again, you just go to Map and go to New Map. This time you'll choose, uh, this time I'll make it a square grid, and we'll choose the Map button. Now this, you're just looking for a, a map that you have in your resource library. Let's use, again, one of the defaults that come with Map Tool. Now I click OK. And you can see in the thumbnail here that the map is in there and it's surrounded by the grass. That's because it's just the grass is the default texture for map tool. If you want to change that, you can again go to the background and choose your textures, and let's say you want to be in a desert. So you choose the sand um, texture, and now you're put into a desert. So we'll click OK. So your map's in here now, but you need to move around. Uh, first, again, don't forget your little help section down here in the lower left. that tells you how to do a lot of things. So for zooming, the easiest way to do that is just your mouse wheel. Just roll your mouse wheel, and you zoom in and out. It's real quick and easy. If you don't have a mouse wheel though, don't worry. You just go to view and you have your manual way if you're of zooming and also your hotkeys, your equal um, period and plus that you can use. And then for moving around the map, very easy. Just use your right mouse button for your mouse. You just click and hold and you just drag around real quick and smoothly. And now lastly the grid. You just go to view, drop down to grid, and that pops the grid out here. You can see the problem we're having with this grid on this map right now though is this map is kind of made with its own grid the way the flooring is so you might want to have the grid actually line up with the floor flooring and then that way if you have snap to grid for your tokens it'll pop into those little spots now way you can adjust that on the fly is just go to the map menu and go to adjust grid now here you can adjust and make the grid smaller and then if you right uh, left click and hold you can move the grid around and try to line it up. You can see it's still not quite the right size so we'll make it a little bit smaller and then there you can see now that it's lined up very well so things will pop right to where they're supposed to be. But on some maps having a black grid just doesn't work very well either it just doesn't look quite right or it doesn't show up very well. Well you can just click on the little color uh, square there and all your different colors will pop up. So you can choose anything. You know, you can choose neon green if you wanted to, though obviously that's horrendous and you wouldn't want that for this map. So then you just click close and let's turn off that grid so we don't have to look at the neon green anymore. And that is the basics of getting a new map started and moving around it.